Do you know what's more annoying than forgetting your SD card when you go on a shoot? Packing. All of this crap. I hate it. Genuinely hate it. I've got too much crap. I'm getting rid of so much stuff. Um, I'm going out this evening to shoot with Oscar and Andy. Oscar's shooting a video. I'll explain as we go. Um, myself and Roxanne are still packing up the house. Um, our move out of London has been delayed for those that follow me over on Instagram. And if you don't, come over and follow me. But those that do follow me over on Instagram, then you know I'm currently in a little bit of a conundrum with everything that's going on with these. But I'll explain that in another video. For now, let's go and shoot some night photography. For the third bit. So Oscar's doing a video tonight about night photography, a video that I've done before and I think I'll do again in the future. Um, but he's doing like a really clean cut night photography video so that he can always reference it back. And it was a good idea actually because it means that any time in the future where anyone asks him a question, hey, do you know anything about night photography? He can link it back to that. So I'm gonna get some BTS of him doing that shoot. Um, and then we're doing another shoot later on with some light painting and I'll get some photos of that and it'll look quite cool. And I'll show you that at the end. But this is the framing. We've got Andy on board as well. I'll link both the guys below. Andy, Oscar, St. Paul's, night photography video. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we move to the next location. This is a very, very well-known... Jesus Christ, shut up! This is a very well-known location amongst photographers in London. Um, it's a, a street heading down towards the Shard. I believe Oscar's gonna get some sort of like reflection shot here. As the boys are setting up over here, um, Oscar's gonna do like a reflection shot there. You know how I am, I always wanna try and find something a little bit different, a little different perspective. So what I did was I came and stood up here to get some elevation, to look down the street with a bus or maybe a subject in the frame to give that extra kind of like spice to the photo. You can see it on the screen because I think it looked pretty good. I'm not gonna wait to the end to show you that one because I liked it. Um, I'm gonna get a couple more here, maybe use the side of the, the car or something like that to get like a reflection shot, which will look pretty cool. There's loads of cool different angles here. I mean, even maybe using the bridge in some way. Um, I'm definitely gonna come back and do like a night shot here because there's loads of different angles you can get. Come down to the next location, which is uh, in like Westminster area. So the idea for this shot is it's a completely different video that Oscar's doing, but essentially he wants to get some like light painting stuff. So I'm basically the model in this shot. So I think I'm going to be stood down this area, holding the light bar. He's taking a shot down, down that way. We've got Big Ben and the boys and then the light. Thank you guys so much. Oh, that was really fun. I really appreciate it. All of the help. Absolutely. It means a lot. And that was a cool shot. So. I think we did, yeah, yeah. I reckon we turned Yeah, got some really cool shots. So I actually just realised why he was doing all these videos. So the reason he's doing the videos is because uh, Oscar's been trying to create some presets for quite a while. And essentially, the videos that he's created tonight, that you've kind of seen the BTS of, he's going to be using them within the presets to kind of show you guys how how to, to take photos at night and then I think he's gonna do some tutorials on how he kind of does the, the whole Lightroom side of it. Um, but when he does finally release them, I'll make sure I link them or whatever and show you guys because they're gonna be sick. He's been working on them a, a long time and presets are an amazing way to, to start an image and well, you've seen Oscar's work. Everybody's seen Oscar's work. If you haven't, he's below in the description. We're gonna have a look at some of the photos that I've taken this evening. You've seen the B-roll, you've seen the shoot. It's gone really well. Let's go and have a look at the photos and also look at the hashtag Optical. So the shoot went well, I'm happy with it. I'm gonna show you some of the photos with the settings on the screen. Um, you can have a look at them here and the, the settings are all, I don't know, they're doing their thing on the screen right, right now somewhere. On this screen here, you can see the, the photos that I took. There's only a few and some of the settings. Um, mostly I was there just to, to, to go out and enjoy the, the night with Oscar and Andy and just go out. And I think sometimes that's really important for you guys to do. Just go out there, 
and just enjoy the evening. Not necessarily have like a, a, an idea of a video in mind, but to go out and just create. And you don't have to make a video, you don't have to make any photos, you don't have to do anything. Just go out with friends and, and have fun. Sometimes I think that we're always on this consistent push as creatives. We consistently try to do better than the last time. We consistently try to up the competition. By the way, there is no competition, it's all up here. And I think because of that, it kind of ruins creativity sometimes. So sometimes it's nice just to go out and just be present. Now, a little update, life update. Uh, before I do that, subscribe, notification bell, so you get notified when I do upload any videos. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers before I get to Australia. Talking about Australia, myself and Roxanne, if you're new here or are unaware, uh, we are waiting on a visa to be approved for us to move and live in Australia. And in terms of content wise, I'm trying to, I'm gonna be heading into a more uh, consistent upload again. Let me get that onto auto ISO, there we go. I'm gonna be getting into a more um, consistent upload schedule once I kind of sort out my life. Cause look at it, look at this crap. By the way, this isn't all rubbish. These are clothes. So I had a lot of spare clothes that I didn't use. I'm donating them to charity here in London. Um, so people that maybe want some cheaper clothes or don't have enough money to buy some clothes, will get some clothes that obviously I do not need. Now, if you are new here, I do use the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram. I set that hashtag up so you guys can go and communicate and socialize on the platform with other creatives doing the same thing. It's currently up to 375,000 posts and the photos look sick. And I go on there to get inspiration for shots and to talk with you and like, and just kind of see what you guys are up to. And there are a ton of amazing shots. So I urge you to head over to Instagram, have a look at the hashtag optical wonder, because I think you'll enjoy it. We're gonna throw a screen record on, and we're gonna look at maybe five or six photos. Um, this one here is really nice. Lovely sunset vibe or sunrise vibe. Not sure, but I love it. Nonetheless, the grade is really nice, very calming. Um, going down, this black and white shot, love that. That shot in Warsaw, really great shot. Love the uh, the lighting in the first one. Need to like that photo. And let's go down a bit more. We'll go with, I like this one. It tells a story and she's looking at you too, which I really like, because you've been caught out. And sometimes they make a really good photo where they're like staring straight at you as if to say, uh, taking my photo, hi. <laughs> it's a great shot. Um, and we'll do, I like this one. Gone with the teal and orange look, nothing wrong with that. Teal, orange. Um, and it's really clean, nice and sharp, nice little set. That first one is very clean and sharp and I like it. Simplistic, but great. Going down, let's do two more. We'll go with this one here. What a great shot by Asan. Genuinely, the vibe in this is lovely. With that little text as well saying believer, context is everything and this is amazing. Um, we'll go with one more and we'll go with, we'll just scroll and stop and we'll choose, hmm, all good, but out of the ones that are on the screen, I'm gonna pick, oh God, all of them. I like this one because I like what you're doing with the light. That first one, you've got that nice little pocket of light on the eye, and I like it. So if you do want to get featured on this channel, you can use the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram. Oh, and lastly, this has been a bit of a mix of a video, and I am sorry about that, but that's just where I am at at the moment. Um, I've got some exciting videos coming up with Joby and a couple of other videos with other brands. And tomorrow, I'm heading to um, an electric car show with Tom and meeting up with a girl called Jordan, who is a model and all out, anyway. If you want to see that, you can uh, subscribe, notification, and you'll see that video when it gets uploaded. Hopefully, it'll get uploaded on Sunday as I transition into this consistency again. So, I think that's all I have to say for the update. For those that came along to the meetup, I'm going to be doing a, a video about the meetup uh, next week. So, look out for that. Maybe even tomorrow. Maybe it might be up tomorrow. I don't know. I'm, I need to get back over there and edit. So, I'm going to sign this off. It's been a while create more, stress less, and peace, have fun. Cables, 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 everywhere.